Saturday. That doesn't sound right. Saturday. Saturday. There we go. Saturday, December 24th. Again. Happy Christmas Eve. I'm going to do another movie because I don't want to do it on Christmas Day because I don't know, it won't really fit. It's Corsage with your host, me, Professor Joe LaRocca. This is an Austrian French Luxembourg joint production by Marie uh, Kreitzer. I don't know how to say it. <clears throat> Stars Vicky Creeps, who you know from uh, Phantom Thread, maybe. It is a year in the life of Empress Elizabeth the first, maybe, of Austria. And it's uh, about her turning 40. And it has a lot to do with, like, the fear of fading beauty and death. Um, and uh, how, like, kind of your cloister as a royal or even as a celebrity, kind of. Cause it's late 1800s. It's like you, you kind of, your world is kind of shrunk down. It's, um... Similar maybe to Marie Antoinette, the uh, Sofia Coppola movie, because it's got contemporary music and anachronisms. And then I, I read after that the anachronisms are intentional. Uh, and I kind of was like, yeah, because it was like a certain type of motor that went. And I was like, that doesn't time-wise doesn't make sense. And then there's like an exit sign. So I don't know. There's some weird stuff. And then also she meets up with Louis Le Prince who is like one of the early cinema guys. But it's like 1878. So it seems too early for her to have met up with him because the earliest film we have is from Louis Le Prince is from 1888. But I don't know if that just means that that's the only surviving film and that there's record of it going back that far. But I don't know. Something seemed wrong about that. And then basically I started realizing, so wait, it's just this, a character study of this woman. So, you know, lion doesn't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep right and so she's like does everything she does is like to get attention and to make sure that people are like no you're still beautiful because you know she's losing it and and she has just a bunch of like yes men around her or whatever so um it kind of lacks an immediate conflict it, it is i guess it's it's supposed to be like there's like a big feminist message to it i guess which I, i'm totally cool with except then when i read like a little bit about the real history she wasn't this like sad, lonely woman. In fact, she had all these m extra marital affairs and like was considered beautiful throughout her life. And so I think they just kind of took a story. Apparently every year since 1927, uh, some sort of movie or TV show or documentaries come out about Elizabeth, Empress Elizabeth. So she's like a very popular person. So maybe they're playing off of that, this like character that exists already in Austrian storytelling. And then kind of playing against it, you know, but there's contemporary music and it's like we get the unbalanced gender roles and that whole thing. But I don't know. It it, it doesn't go far enough. It's not like something like um, the favorite where it's really kind of like exploring and it feels strange and everything about it. You know, this feels very normal. It is beautifully shot. I think Creeps is a great actress. You know, costumes, all that stuff is great, but like, uh, there's something there's something missing for for me about it, and I think it's the fact that it is a biopic essentially, but it's so heavily fictionalized that it's almost nothing like what that person was. So you're just using that like of a, a, a famous like an 1800s celebrity and showing some stuff, but it's all not true. So I don't know. I mean, the messaging is right. Yes, fucking, the, it's been out imbalanced, you know. But I don't know. It's just, this one kind of missed me. And I, I do think that maybe under a repeat viewing, I'd get a little bit more of it. But it is a movie that I don't feel like I'll probably ever watch again unless somebody comes to me and is like, you were totally wrong about that. It's about this and this. And you'll go, ah. Like, there's a great scene. There's lots of great little scenes. But as a whole, I kind of just started feeling bored around the middle of it. I was like, there's not really an immediate conflict. And she doesn't feel as oppressed as I think we're supposed to feel that she is. It's like, oh, your life isn't so bad. That's <laughs> I know that that's not the point. But uh, there's one point where she goes to, like, a, a mental institution. And she's to hand out candy so that she can get, like, praise from people. And then there's this one guy. Who, 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 like, is just catatonic. And she, she, she was like, he said I was beautiful last year. She just, like, looks at him trying to get him to be like, oh, you're the most beautiful woman. And he doesn't say anything. And she's like, damn it. 
<laughs> like, yeah, it's some good storytelling, but overall, I lost the narrative thread. But perhaps that's just me. Certainly check it out, because it is one of them art films, right, baby? <laughs> uh, and what I learned is that yeah, the anachronisms, I think you need to go bigger and bolder because I didn't love that in Marie Antoinette, but it made that movie memorable and more interesting than this, whereas this just has a few little things that almost just feel like a mistake, and the contemporary music doesn't work as well um, in terms of the messaging. Again, I also just feel like just just make up a character. and, and Don't do a biopic on somebody and then like really really change their life like so much so just make it just just whatever call her friggin empress janine of austria and then just make it a thing and i i don't know and and i guess a lot of the a lot of the ad for a lot of the like interviews and stuff that the director has done and said the whole the movie was like motivated by the me too movement and all that stuff and they were talking about that a lot and other Austri- austrian filmmakers and european filmmakers got like up, I guess got like upset about that. So there's, a, there's like kind of actually a little bit of a controversy about this movie in the nerd art cinema world. But that's why I kind of had to check it out. But definitely not a bad movie. Just like not particularly enjoyable and like 98% inaccurate. Other than like I am assuming the costumes are probably on par. They always nail that shit. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Merry Christmas. Like I said, I just wanted to do this one so I can do something a little bit more cheery tomorrow that I'm uh, excited about, you know. Also, what do you think, what dictator had the best sense of humor? You ever think about that? <laughs>